Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to create a bootable Linux USB drive from Windows 10. This will enable you to boot into a live Linux system on your own computer and allow you to test it out and install it. I'm going to use Rufus to write the Linux ISO file onto a USB drive. This is the .iso file you download from the website, so I'm going to go on to Linux Mint here use whatever distribution you're after. So yes, save the .iso file. In regards to the size of the USB flash drive which we require, well Linux Mint here is 1.7 gig large. With that inflated out and with a bit of space on there, you're roughly looking at around, let's say, 3 gig. So, hey, a 4 gig USB flash drive, which are readily available these days, that will do absolutely fine. If your flash drive is larger, well, no problem. Download a copy of Rufus. The download link is right here on the page. At the top one here is OK. At the time of recording, it is version 2.12. Now open up Windows Explorer and go across the Downloads folder. You can see I have the Linux Mint ISO file there and Rufus. I'm going to open up Rufus. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And with the USB flash drive inserted, and that is it, it has picked it up there. It's called no label and e colon. If you purchased your system within the last six years, odds are it is UEFI. If it is older, then odds are it is a BIOS. Generally, for a USB flash drive, you want to choose an MBR partition, master boot record partition scheme, in this case, for BIOS or UFI, so it doesn't matter. We have a safe option here. File system type, FAT32, that will be fine. Cluster size, leave it as default. New volume label, call it whatever you want. Okay, now the format options, so I'm not gonna check it for bad blocks, I know this drive is fine. I'm going to give it a quick format create a bootable disk using, drop down this list, an ISO image, select the CD icon there. I'll choose the ISO file that I've downloaded for Linux Mint, and then I'll leave the last option ticked. So, ready, and start. Okay, we'll accept that download. And again, yes, I'll accept the ISO image mode, okay. Yes, all data will be destroyed. That is no problem at all for this device. Well, after a couple of minutes, or in my case, a few sips of beer, Rufus has finished writing to the flash drive. So I'm going to close that. Well, now I'm ready to shut down my system and try out Linux Mint. Upon reboot, your computer will give you an indication of what key you need to press to get to the boot menu. In the case of my Asus system, it is F8 or Delete. Then you can select the USB flash drive from the boot menu list. Because I have the option of UEFI and generic, it is better to take the UEFI, but that is my system specifically. If you have a regular old BIOS, then you only have one option. That is how to create a bootable Linux flash drive in Windows. Check out my tutorial on how to install Ubuntu to dual boot with Windows 10. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.